one of the most Grammy-nominated artists and greatest musical mentors of all time, passed away yesterday. For over 60 years, Quincy Jones, musician, composer, producer, was a key player in polishing the sound of musical greats of all genres. We're talking Ray Charles, Sarah Vaughan, Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, and more recently, Michael Jackson. He brought artists together for a great cause with USA for Africa's We Are the World. You remember that, yeah? Oh, yeah. He worked in TV and film on projects like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with Will Smith and The Color Purple with Oprah and Whoopi. And while tributes for Quincy Jones are going viral, you know, it's the ones that he influenced and mentored that are the most touching because you see that this one man left an incredible lasting legacy of music. Just wanted to share a few. Quote, my beloved Q, the one and only Quincy Jones discovered me for the Color Purple movie in 1985. My life changed forever for the better after meeting him, Oprah Winfrey. Quincy is the reason why I decided to become a record producer. His records were my go-to when I started engineering, forever inspired by the incomparable Quincy Jones, and that's Dr. Dre. So, you know, I mean, we just, he's just a full gamut, you know? Mm -hmm. Quincy Jones is a true definition of a mentor, a father and a friend. He pointed me toward the greatest parts of myself, and that's Will Smith, who worked with him on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And in rap, point blank, Quincy was the man. I won my first Grammy with Quincy, and I live with his wisdom daily that's iced tea and finally my hero truly one of the greatest minds that music world has ever known q you are the dude and this is harry connick jr wow yeah so he worked with just so many artists so many genres and yeah we, he left us an incredible legacy yeah and an incredible library of music as well oh yeah absolutely oh. you know with so many artists on tour there's bound to be a mishap on stage right mm -hmm. uh, a little while ago video of olivia rodrigo went viral remember she fell the trap door on the stage while hyping up the crowd. I laughed, wasn't funny, but she laughed, <laughs> she laughed as well. Too. Yeah. That's usually when you laugh. Yeah. When they jump up, they're like, I'm okay. And then, yeah. <laughs> well, she's not the <laughs> only one that's doing it. Chris Martin, lead singer of Coldplay, did the same thing. Check uh -oh. this out. Yeah. Walking backward. Oh, no. yes. During Sunday show in Melbourne, which strangely enough was the same city Olivia Rodrigo was in <laughs> when she fell through the trap door. Chris Martin was Sorry, walking I'm laughing backwards. Again. I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> and talking to the crowd when he fell through an open trap door. Now some nearby crew members helped him back up and the singer joked that the incident was not planned. <laughs> I bet you wish there was a trap door under me right now, yes? Yeah, no. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> After I finish the story, then. No, I'm just kidding. And finally, think of two great things that go great together. I'll start. Peanut butter. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. What? I was going to say peanut butter and chocolate. Boom, I would have said that too. Okay, how about cookies and milk? Oh, yes. Yeah? Got to be Mrs. Barry's cookies, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Batman and Robin? Oh, yeah, Batman and Robin. David D. Lena Girl. Oh, yeah. We're here on right Island on. Live. Yes. Okay. yes, we're awesome. How about dirty diapers? <laughs> we're <and> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. But how about dirty diapers and electricity? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Massachusetts, a waste management company and a daycare company have joined forces to convert dirty diapers into electricity. The dirty diapers get dumped into special bins, then get steam sterilized and go through a waste to energy process. The used diapers are mixed in with other waste items and the trash is thermally destroyed in a boiler, creating steam that drives a turbine oh into the power grid. Oh now boy. check this out. Since January, the program has prevented more than 33,000 pounds of diapers from going into landfills, and that's just from six child care centers. <laughs> we need this in Hawaii, sis. I we mean, like, do. I'm gonna be honest. If I was if I was wearing my Depends today, <laughs> we could power up Wamanalo. Guaranteed. <laughs> you think? Yeah. So please go well, talk right to your now, friends. Right I don't now, know they need to bank. just fix the water lines in Wamanalo, <laughs> yes. but yeah, I think they would need some of your electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I know my wife is going. Mm -hmm, yes, I need Please talk to your friends at Aloha Diaper Bank. We okay. gotta make this happen. Yeah. Okay. So just so that you know, it's dirty diapers. It's not. Um, it's not methane. <laughs> this is not. This is not gas. This is you know the, <laughs> the byproducts right here. Okay, I got anyway. you. I got you. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. I'm with that. Yeah. It's National Candy Day. How's that? <laughs> so here's how you saw my question.